Hey guys, welcome in. Today we're going to be playing with Perfusion. So I didn't pick up the whole collection, but Perfusion launched their new Empowered Butterfly collection. I happen to be at CVS getting something different and I saw the display for this new release and I only decided to pick up a couple of things. And so I'm a little bit bummed that I didn't pick up the whole collection, but I did pick up three of the, I don't know, five or six things that came out. They had liners, they had flutter lashes that came with like I don't know, like sparkle things on them and they were all different colors, which is probably not something that I would wear. They came with face stickers, some eyeliners, an eyeshadow palette, some glosses, some lip creams, and two blushes. And I think that was the whole collection. But I picked up one of the blushes because this looked super duper cute. You see the butterfly in there? And then I picked up two of the Dazzling Wings Liquid Shimmer Eyeliners. And this one is in Take Flight. It looks like there was probably four eyeliners released and they came in a box set of two. So I picked up the Take Flight one. And this looks like it's a silver and a blue. So we'll try those today. And then I also picked up the Soft Matte Lip Cream Set Ethereal Butterfly. I didn't get the glosses, which I would have liked to have tried. And then the eyeshadow palette I looked at and I was like, mm, I'm just not really into those like tiny circle pans. But what I did have was the Winter Ballroom palette from Perfusion. My husband had picked this up, I think when he was at like Walgreens, maybe CVS, I don't know. And he brought it home and I was like, mm, okay, honey, that's really sweet. Um, yeah, I'm just not into these huge eyeshadow palettes, but I didn't have the heart to like tell him that I probably wouldn't use this. It smells delicious, like like candy or something. But anyway, so I thought we would use this in place of the Butterfly eyeshadow palette. So hopefully you don't hate me too much. So let's just hop right into playing with the new Perfusion stuff. So I did prime my eyes and I did put on my brows. I think we'll start with this eyeshadow palette. It is a 35 pan eyeshadow palette. This doesn't look like Perfusion's best quality. There are definitely some pressed glitters in here which don't excite me too much, but I think I wanna do a purpley look, like a blue purpley look today. Play with some of these like purple and blue shimmers. I just thought that that would be fun. I did swatch this already and I'm not as thrilled by the quality in this palette that I've seen in some other Perfusion palettes. We'll see what the quality is like. I really wasn't gonna play with this palette, but then I thought, well, I have this other Perfusion stuff, so I might as well. I'm probably gonna take this shade right here all over the top lid, cause it almost has like a purple base to it. And then I'll use this one maybe in the outer corner. And I definitely wanna play with one of these two shimmers here at the bottom, and then go in with this lighter blue right here. We'll see where it just takes us, I think. I'm actually gonna take this like pale blue shade first. Let's see how pigmented this is. I actually just got back from a mini vacay. We went to Orlando and we took the kids. We haven't taken the kids out in a while. I think it's probably been a year since we've taken a vacation, maybe even longer. Yeah, probably longer, maybe even two years. And I booked two days at Disney, one day at Animal Kingdom, and then one day at the Magic Kingdom, and then one day at Universal. So, you know, my five-year-old and my going to be 15-year-old in March could have like, you know, each a day that they might enjoy, but neither of the kids cared for Disneyland at all. They were totally more into Universal. And honestly, I have to say, like, I don't know if you guys are, there are any Disney fans out there, but Disneyland was not it for us. The park was laid out in a way that just didn't seem to conceptually make sense. Their like Genie Plus service is like the service that you can use to get in like the lightning lanes, but you can only book them one at a time. So you could potentially book a ride for the lightning lane and then three hours later is the next availability to book the next lightning lane all the way across the park. It was like horrendous. And so we were just running all over the place, trying to get into the lightning lane for the rides that we booked. And if you did it once, you couldn't ever do it again the entire day that you were there. So if you like booked It's a Small World and wanted to take it again, you couldn't. It was like terrible. And if you didn't want to go on the ride with like the other person, you just had to hang out in the hot sun. And unfortunately with Disneyland, there's just so many people that there's no real good places to sit. They just don't like accommodate 
a lot of sitting like outside of restaurants and shops, well, even in the shop. And even on the benches, there isn't a lot of shade. So I went into this lighter shade just to kind of build a base. And now I wanna go into this one right here to kind of, I don't know, deepen it up and go into the crease. So it was fun but we just didn't get a lot done. We just didn't get to go on as many rides as we liked. And honestly, they had to be like rides that both of the kids would like. Otherwise, you know, the other person would be hanging out in the hot sun. I booked us a reservation at Be Our Guest. It's like Beauty and the Beast's restaurant. And it was like nice, like it was definitely, you know, an atmosphere for sure, but it was kind of like overcrowded and loud and just dark and the menu is pretty limited. I just didn't think that like for what we paid, it was worth it. Like the food wasn't that great. It was like, it was all right. It just wasn't like, it didn't knock my socks off. And honestly for four people, it was $300. I was like, really? Like we didn't even end up eating the desserts. We just kind of wanted out of there. The kids were tired and the lines were so long and there just wasn't like, honestly, there wasn't enough shade. They just didn't, bring any of the lines like underneath kind of the awnings and so it was pretty miserable to be honest and then the dumbo ride my son wanted to ride that one so bad and it was so weird like the way they laid it out that you had to go play on a playground before you got taken into the ride and so when he saw the playground he didn't want to do the ride anymore but like you can't just kind of sneak out like you have to go through the ride and so we got yelled at for like going out of the exit i don't know just it wasn't what I remembered it being. It was just overcrowded, took too long to get in. We got lost so many times, just overcrowded and really, really hot and just not as accommodating. But when we went to Universal, guys, let me tell you about how awesome Universal is. I went in with this shade, but it just wasn't deepening enough. So I'm gonna go in with this one now and just focus it in the outer corner. So we bought the two park one day like park hopper ticket. And good thing that I did because I wasn't expecting to like Islands of Adventure like as much as we ended up doing. And I didn't realize that like the Marvel rides were in Island of Adventure. And honestly, like for my five-year-old and my 14-year-old, like it was so much more accommodating. Most of the rides you could go on and were not scary, but still thrilling enough for like my spread and age group. And when they weren't, you guys, they have what's called a child swap, which is legitimate. You go through the ride with your whole party and then inside air conditioned, like in a separate space, you can swap out the kid that like can go on the ride with the one that can't. Like why didn't they have that when we were kids? In Disneyland, we had to literally sit outside and just get scorched to death. And now with everything on your phone, it's so nice if like one person has the tickets and you know, you can still go in the ride and you just tell them, okay, we're gonna go in child swap, boom, like no questions asked. It was perfection. It was so good, you guys. Everyone enjoyed Universal so much more. Like child swap, every park should have that. Like honestly, you shouldn't have a park without it because it's so accommodating to the children. And also like whatever engineer designed Universal, semi-genius. The way they laid out the Disneyland park is just conceptually, like I couldn't picture how everything was laid out. Even the directions took us through like a restroom to get to a different land. I was like, what, <laughs> what is this? And then at Universal, both of the parks are like spread out from the entrance and then you get like a beautifully laid out like nice walkway kind of like at the edge of universal walk and both of the parks are around a man-made lake and they go in a full circle so you could literally hit everything without feeling overwhelmed there was a ton more shade the park wasn't as crowded like i thought we were going to enjoy disney world so much more than universal and that just wasn't the case honestly when we book our next trip i'm just going to start blending now i am not booking like Disneyland again. It just, I, I can't see us enjoying ourselves. Like we would spend three days in Universal and be super pleased. We didn't get to hit everything, but we got to hit a lot because those express lanes are bomb. Like they literally are no longer than 15 minutes. You can purchase the express passes to be available for both parks and be unlimited. Like you could also purchase for less expensive, like $30 less per person. These shadows are just not 
like now they're blending into nothing and I don't know what's happening here. You could also like just purchase them to work at one park so you could spend $30 less, but we wanted them at both parks. This turned into such a blue look as opposed to purple and I guess that's okay. There was just one purple in here and it just like wasn't strong enough to overpower these blues. So I went blue, I guess. So I think that I'm probably gonna take this blue right here, this shimmer and just use my finger. These shimmers just aren't the greatest when you swatch them. They're just not impactful. They're kind of hard, honestly, but we're gonna go for it anyway. So yeah, we got to hit a lot more rides than we did Disney because their express lane is just so much better laid out and organized and the way they let you purchase the passes than Disneyland is that we just enjoyed it so much more. So many more things for younger kids it seemed like with less waiting. Like there was even kind of arcade games and arcades and just, I don't know, just things that my kids just like to do because, you know, waiting in line for rides or just to see a princess, it's like time consuming and then half your day is gone and you're like, you know, we did five things and it's over. Going into this like teal blue shade, I guess, in the inner corner. So it was kind of a bummer. Like all that walking in Disneyland just tires you out. And so you don't really feel that motivated to kind of keep going. Getting caffeine inside of Disneyland was like tough. Like honestly, just trying to find a decent coffee to keep you going as like an adult was ridiculous. And honestly, like I grew up at Disneyland, not Disney World. So I'm not really as familiar with Disney World. I've been there like one other time and it was literally 10 years ago. So, you know, part of that was just that my unfamiliarity with the park, but the contrast was just so significant for us that we could just tell you know, after having spent two days between the Disneyland parks, how much more we enjoyed Universal. It was crazy. The only thing is though, that Universal was a lot more expensive than Disneyland. With those express passes, they cost as much as the ticket themselves. Are they worth it? Yes. Is it double the price of like the cost to get into Disney? Um, also yes. So the, honestly, that was like the only downside, but I would do it again. Like I would not spend less money to go to Disney World again. I would honestly spend more to go to Universal. Like that child swap thing, when you have a kid, any like spread in age, I feel like needs that child swap. It was so critical for us. It just would have been a lot less enjoyable had that child swap thing not been there. I'm gonna say though, all the walking we ended up doing, every one of us but our son who like stayed in the stroller because we were smart enough to go, we should probably get a stroller because there's gonna be a period of time here that he's gonna need to like lay down and he's little short legs, like dragging him through a crowd of people is not gonna be like good. Even though he's, you know, outgrown a stroller at home, we wanna get a stroller for him in the park and we didn't bring our own. So besides him, every one of us got chafing from how much walking there was. And I, like as a kid or as a young adult, do not remember all the chafing that occurred while we were there, but like Gold Bond was our friend by the end. I just feel like uh, this is patchy as can be. Like I'm just not getting it to build in certain spots. Like, does it look like that to you? Like right here, it just kind of looks like, hello. I don't know if this is gonna get any better. I'm building and building. I just don't think these are like overly pigmented. They're kind of blending into nothing. I'm having trouble getting the colors to like discern the one from the other with these. I don't know, like this is not my favorite quality palette. I mean, from Perfusion, I've had some better ones. I've decluttered a lot like over the years because I used to use Perfusion kind of exclusively because they were just so inexpensive and I really didn't care. I just kind of wore like minimal eyeshadow, but now that I wear much more like vibrant and I go a little bit heavier on my eyeshadow looks these days, this kind of just doesn't do it for me. So I, this is, I mean, this is just not great, great quality from Perfusion. I've had way better from them in the past. And that one wasn't cheap. Like I think CVS was selling it or Walgreens, wherever he picked it up. It was $14.99. So it was much more expensive than some of the other like Perfusion palettes that I've purchased in the past. Okay, I definitely want to go into this eyeliner next. And since I did a blue look, we're gonna try out the silver one. It's called the Dazzling Wings Liquid Shimmer Eyeliner in Take Flight. So this one is called Blue Wing. 
So it's a sparkly blue. And then this one is a silver and it's called White Wing. So I definitely wanna swatch both of them just to see like if they're budge proof, I guess. There is the tip on these. So they're nice, they look pretty precise. All right, let's swatch this. It's like a really, really watery formula. I'm not totally digging this. Try this one in White Wing. I like this better, but it's really, really runny. Do you see how runny they look? So now I'm a little bit frightened. This blue one just like created kind of like a hot, thick mess. Yeah, I think they take a pretty good amount of time to dry down. They're not super easy, but let's go into this white wing one. Honestly, as runny as it is over this eye look, like it may not even stand out enough. It's really easy to apply. Like I will say that this precise brush tip makes it super easy, but it's not showing over this eye look because it's super blue. I'm gonna take it out though. Yeah, it's super wet formula. You guys, as I'm shaking this, like it's such a runny formula, it's literally getting all over the cap. Like I don't know what the frick to think about this. This is kind of a hot mess. I have no idea why it's just so wet of a formula. Blue pen is even worse. It's just not pigmented enough. Like it's too shimmery, too wet of a formula. Like honestly, these are freaking terrible. These are the worst eyeliners I've legit ever used. Like they're that bad. I think the eyeliner in the white wing one would be pretty if it wasn't with this eye look. I think that I could like see it a little bit more, but it's obviously sitting on top of like the same color, which I was trying to go for more of a purple look than a blue look, but the quality of these I can already tell you is just not the greatest. Like I'm not getting a whole lot of pigment it's just more wet when I think they were trying to go for like a shimmer and that's just kind of not how they're translating. It's just so wet that like I was building and building and building. I think I'm more excited for these two products. So I will finish the rest of my face makeup and then we will come back and we will play with those products. Okay, eyes are finished. I don't think they look half bad. It did take me a little bit longer to work with the eyeshadow palette than I wanted, but it's okay. All right, let's move on into the blushes. This is the Soft Cloud Blush. It's supposed to be a mousse blush. These do retail for $7. Of course, I will list like the prices for the whole collection in the description box, and they come in two shades. This one is in Painted Lady, and it's the more orange of the two shades, which I always find myself in this situation where I get a really vibrant blush, and then I end up doing a really vibrant eye look and they don't match. I'm really interested to swatch this. It's just like your plastic packaging, but it's not very sturdy. It's almost like, you know, it's kind of hollow-ish. Here's the imprint. It's really, really cute. Oh, it's very moussey and soft and silky. It was a nice swatch. I got most of the butterfly. So I think because the butterfly is raised, you do get like a little bit more of the butterfly on the swatch than you do the orange. So let's just dip in with kind of a, like a standard blush brush and let's go for it. I think with this though, you do have to use a um, more dense brush because it's mousse. And so it's not powder. It's not gonna pick up as easily on a really fluffy brush. That's just the way that mousse is. A lot of my mousse blushes are that way. I have to pick them up with a more dense brush. But so far it's, pretty buildable and quite beautiful. It's a matte finish, but it's like blurring. And I think it's getting like a good even mixture of the two shades. I've taken a lot of the butterfly up already at this point, just kind of digging in with this semi-dense brush. I think that's all I want to apply. How does that look? I think it looks really pretty, <laughs> honestly. I don't think it looks terrible with the eye look. And I was mistaken. If I said that these retail for seven, these are $5 a piece. So they're really, really affordable. And for like a mousse blush, this is actually really good quality. We'll see how long it lasts, but it was so creamy to the touch. It's really buildable. It has good pigmentation. I really like the shade. I would just say that the finish is like a matte airbrushed look. Let's go into this lip cream set. So soft matte lip cream set does come in three shades and this retails for $7. I'm definitely going to lip swatch all of these and probably keep 
the more neutral shade on at the end we'll see how they look there are the swatches some of them actually looked more glossy than the other ones like this one right here but the shades of these are this is delicate this is grateful and this one is alluring so I think this is probably like the most neutral of the tones. This looks like kind of a burnt red, and this is definitely a true kind of deep purple. They definitely make a mess on the swatches. Like they have a good amount of sticking power. Let's go into this one first. It's alluring. This is like the more brick red, and I'm doing this without a lip liner. They're so creamy, comfortable. I have a lot of like lip creams in my collection, like both high-end and like drugstore, and this is one of the smoothest, just applying it. Like, it is so smooth and creamy. I will say, though, like, this is a pretty flimsy doe foot applicator. But because it has, like, kind of a pointed edge, you can get a pretty precise line. I will say, though, that these are so slippy that they're, like, moving around. Like, I feel like you have to have a lip liner with these. You can't just kind of throw these on because I can feel them like just kind of moving as I rub my lips together. But this one was in Alluring, a pretty brick red shade. It is massively comfortable though, but it's just running away. Like it's running. So let's take this one off and go into the purple one. Okay, now we're going into the one in Graceful. I feel like I called it Grateful earlier, but it's not. These almost have like zero scent to them. So I must have just pushed the stopper all the way in because look what has happened. Like now it's a hot, hot mess because the stopper is just gone. So if I'm going to get any use out of this, I'm gonna have to like wipe this off. Now it's like blotchy because I couldn't like evenly apply it. It wants to run away. The stopper is gone. So this purple one is absolute garbage now. Like that didn't take anything. All I did was just dip it back in and the whole stopper is gone. <laughs> This is just a terrible collection so far. Like it's kind of a small nightmare. The only thing I've liked so far is the freaking blush. This is just so bad. All right, here's to hoping for delicate and I'm gonna be delicate. Here's what the stopper looks like. How could I possibly have pushed it in? It's in the lid. It must have been pushed in the lid because now it's back. <gasps> it is, it's going straight into the lid. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's inside of the lid. What a freaking nightmare. Like this was made so badly. Now all the product is like going into the top part of the lid. I can't even, I, I don't even know what to say. Honestly, I like shocked that that even happened. I guess for its price point, like it's not surprising. But usually Perfusion like does decent quality. This one's my favorite. Honestly, it was the easiest to apply. It didn't run away and try and run off of my lips. It was the one that was actually the least glossy on the swatch. Like these two had a little bit of sheen to them, like a little bit of gloss, but this one was much more matte of a finish. And so I like this one a little bit better. But this one just turns really, really orange on me. I think it's a really pretty color. It's just not for like this look at all. But this was the only one that I truly, truly liked. This one I can see myself continuing to use. I am gonna take it off though because it's not for this eye look. I will say though, they are really, really comfortable. So is that better? I, I have no idea. I just kind of put on a, a milky gloss. So let's do a final wrap up of everything. It's probably not gonna be super positive. I'll start with this eyeshadow palette that I put back here. I know this isn't from the collection, sorry about that, but I just think that that is a fat pass. I do not think that that was good quality. The next thing that I tried was the liners. I think they're terrible. I think they are some of the worst that I have ever tried. I'm shocked that Perfusion quality is just nonsense. We just talked about these. Stopper gone, already leaking, this one is garbage. This one definitely is a little bit more glossy of a finish and so it was kind of like traveling outside of my lip lines. So I think it's good as long as the stopper doesn't move if you use a lip liner with it. This one, in Delicate, I told you was my favorite. It just applied the easiest, stayed matte. It was just a drier formula than the other two, which just shocked me. The blush though, it's the only thing from the collection you should pick up. It's five bucks. I love a moussey blush. 
it was so pretty and airbrushing. So the blush is a go. Obviously try the whole collection, so I just wouldn't touch those lashes because they're just not something that, you know, I could wear. There were some, com some comments that people said looks like kids makeup. I agree, that's just not something I would wear. I don't wear face jewels, so for me those are no, but this blush, super awesome. Only thing that I picked up from this collection that I would recommend getting. <laughs> that was a chatty first impressions nightmare. If you guys are still hanging on in there, thanks. I just now noticed I have liner on my chest. I feel like this was the biggest try on nightmare <laughs> I have literally had in God knows how long. I have to change my shirt because I have literal eyeliner everywhere. I'm out of here, you guys. I'm gonna go clean myself up. I will catch you all in my next video. <laughs> Bye.